Hi everyone, that's me, and you may be wondering what I'm going to do with a bottle of stream water, and that's where environmental DNA comes into play. Using this water sample, we are able to detect species in an environment without ever seeing them. Using water and a few scientific steps, we can find out exactly what species were in the water you sampled from, due to secretions or shedding from the organisms. I used the environmental DNA approach in freshwater streams on Oahu, and I wanted to share the four-step process in a simple way. The first step is to collect water samples. I collected from four streams and urbanized areas to observe how infrastructure changes and invasive species affect the endemic species' presence. When sampling the water, we also had to filter it. The little casing holds all of our raw environmental DNA. So as you can see here, that little brown casing is what is holding our DNA. The second step involves extracting DNA from the little casing using a DNA kit. The DNA extraction kits essentially take the concentrated DNA in the water through breaking down the proteins in the DNA strands. That little tube right there holds our sample's DNA template. The third step is the PCR reaction. PCR amplification further amplifies the DNA, and you can think of this PCR reaction like PCR COVID tests and how they pick up on only the COVID virus. This PCR reaction separates the crustaceans from all the other animals in the stream, and the heating of the DNA using that machine brings it to the perfect temperatures so that it contains the highest yield of DNA. The fourth and final step is species identification. This is done through a sequencing machine that runs through a database, matching the genomes to the species. I then blasted the DNA, which stands for Basic Local Alignment Search Tool, but to simplify these words, blasting the DNA is just like using Shazam for DNA. And through this step, we are able to see the specific species from our very first step, the water sample. And boom, there are our results. And now we know exactly what critters were in the water without ever seeing them. And that's environmental DNA. Thank you.